It's been three months since I last uploaded a video. With the intent to upload once a week, I majorly failed to deliver. I could come up with a myriad of excuses as to why I haven't made something to upload in that time, but the truth is, I just didn't want to. I even have a list of ideas and scripts I could have pulled from, but I couldn't bring myself to create a video out of any of them. On top of that, there was the guilt that hovers over us when we feel we should be creating something, but find ourselves creating nothing at all. It doesn't help that we're far too exposed to the output of what everyone else is doing, achieving or creating all day, every day, adding to the guilt by feeling as if you're not doing enough. That and the hustle culture that's constantly drilled into our minds via social media self-help gurus that somehow find their way onto our screens, passionately and proudly preaching discipline and an almost robotic steadfastness that if you aren't hustling every single day, you'll end up nowhere fast. That same mindset and way of thinking has even found its way into the world of the artist. You can't just be an artist, you need to be a social media manager, marketing strategist, entertainer, so on and so forth if you want your work to be seen or recognized in any way. It's become much less about the actual act of creating and way more about the discipline of creating enough to stay relevant as an artist. I'm in no way saying that discipline doesn't have a place. It's useful, but only when strategically wielded. In my case, a good sense of discipline isn't to force myself to go out and shoot for hours each day, but instead just grab my camera anytime I leave the house to do something. Making myself go shoot for hours, even when I don't feel like it day in and day out, is only useful for the sake of discipline itself. However, if the discipline is to just take my camera with me anytime I leave the house, with zero pressure to take a single photo, that's a discipline that's useful in my mind. If I do take any photos that day, it was because I felt the enthusiasm to do so and creating for the sake of creating, not because I have to. As an artist, we require enthusiasm. In order to create with as little resistance as possible, and I'd argue that most of the time the precursor to enthusiasm is inspiration. My inspiration to finally make another video was something I read in the book, The Artist's Way. Inspiration is found in an endless corridor with endless opportunities to run into it. You won't find it behind every door, but you will find it. And the doors you do find it behind, someone else might not. Inspiration is subjective. Your current emotional state, a struggling friendship, a hard week at work, inspiration finds you when you see yourself in something. We find inspiration where we find ourselves. I was putting so much pressure on myself to abide by my self-imposed rule of uploading once a week, I quickly found myself viewing the creative process as a chore as opposed to play. A problem I have with social media is how much it's turned the creative output of artists into a currency of sorts. No longer are people creating things for their own sake, but for the sake of the platforms and the relevancy on them. Uploading short form content once a day or more to keep their head above water in the digital age of relevancy, where the quantity outweighs the quality. Now, I didn't stop creating entirely the past three months. I still went out to shoot photos for pleasure and work. I just neglected to make videos, which ironically was the one thing I had made a conscious decision to make a disciplined act. Going out to take photos was easy and enjoyable, probably due to the lack of pressure to produce, produce enough content, 
I was creating from a place of enthusiasm, of playfulness, enjoying the process instead of concerning myself with self-imposed timelines and output goals. Forcing creativity will almost always result in less impressive, less inspiring, and less fulfilling work. My main outlet for my creative outflow is photography. It's something I'm always willing to do, no matter the circumstances. And video has its place in that, but only when the same enthusiasm is present. When I feel like there's something more I want to say.